Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a video that is long overdue. The last time I did a setup tour was actually about a year ago and I have been upgrading quite a lot since then. So today I'm gonna go over all of the hardware that I use to produce the videos, to produce the live stream and to do everything Loco TV related. If you're interested in specific model numbers and all that sort of stuff, I will leave a link down below that will take you to the blog post where you can find a list exactly like that. Alright, so let's get started. First off, the thing that most people notice right off the bat is the Samsung monitors that I use. Those are 28 inch 4K 60Hz monitors and are absolutely amazing for their price. For the most part, 4K isn't really necessary yet, but like I mentioned, I try and bring you the highest quality that I can reasonably bring you and I've been recording pretty much all my videos in 4K whenever I can. The webcam that I've been using for a couple years right now is still the good old Logitech C920. I did recently start using an old tripod that we had lying around the house. It basically stabilized the footage a little bit more, so right now it's basically peeking over my monitor rather than sitting on top of it. A few of you have asked, however, how the quality of the webcam is all of a sudden a little bit better, and it's not so much because of the webcam, but because of the lights that I recently started using. Those are some pretty generic Falcon Eyes softboxes, and they're nothing really special. They're kind of big though, so if you are planning on getting some, just realize they're a little bit bigger than you would initially think. As you may notice, however, I am blocking a bunch of the light with the monitors that I got, and I actually do this on purpose because the light is a little bit too strong. So I already changed the light bulbs as well, just to get a bit of a softer light going. So let's talk about peripherals. First off, we got my mouse. Now I've been using this mouse for years, it is starting to fail a little bit on me because the sights are starting to slip away. Every now and then I grab it and it just slips out of my hand, but this is a Razer Death Adder 2013. It is sitting on top of a Razer Destructor 2 mousepad, which is also pretty good. And for some reason, this mousepad actually came with a carrying case, which I've used exactly zero times. I also use this Razer Bungie that basically eliminates any kind of cable drag that you would otherwise get if the cable is actually going over the desk. Now a bit of tech that I've been enjoying a lot as of late is actually the keyboard that I got right here. This is a Philco Magistarch 2 Ninja, it's a 10 keyless keyboard with brown switches and quite honestly it's probably the best keyboard you can possibly purchase. Now the keyboard company was actually nice enough to gift one to me and as you can see it actually has front facing keys. So instead of the keys being on top of the keyboard, it's actually front facing which look absolutely awesome. Now the keyboard company didn't just give me a keyboard but they're also willing to give away one keyboard to a local TV viewer. If you are watching this video within a week or so of it coming out, you can actually use the link in the description below to enter in the competition where they're giving away a keyboard very very similar to this one. Alright, so let's talk about cameras. The very first point and shoot camera that I use for vlogs and whatnot is the Canon S120. Honestly, as of late I haven't really been doing as many vlogs but this camera is absolutely amazing for exactly that. It's great for stills as well and a bunch of the photos that I've been sharing on Instagram are actually shot with this one because I can basically connect it to my phone and immediately share. One of the major upgrades that I have made this year so far is the DSLR that you've been looking at for most of this video. I've upgraded to a Canon 6D with a 24 to 105 mm lens and this is a full frame Canon camera meaning that it's basically one of the absolute highest quality cameras you can get. It is specifically made for stills, however it shoots amazing video as well. It's a professional great camera and I will be using this one for a long time, so I'm very glad to have made the decision to get this one. Next up, another section that I've been upgrading in a lot. This is going to be audio. First off, we have the speakers that I've had for years. Those are not upgraded at all, but those are Logitech speakers. They're called the Z323s and they're pretty good for watching series and movies and whatnot, but I don't really use them all too much. For the most part, I'm either using those headphones right here, which are Sennheiser HD 598s, and while they aren't as pretty anymore as when I first got them, the audio quality is still insanely good. The in-ear earphones that I use for most of the gameplay videos that I record are Shure SE 215s. About a half year ago, I decided to upgrade the Blue Yeti that I've been using for a very long time to an Electro Voice RE320. This is a studio grade microphone and you're actually listening to it right now, so if you like the quality let me know down below in the comment section of the video. But this thing is great. Usually I have it somewhere positioned like this when I'm actually recording videos or whenever I'm live streaming. So right above the keyboard but not blocking any of my screen. Since this is an analog microphone it has to be plugged into a USB interface. The one that I'm using is a Scarlett Focusrite 2i2. I can basically manage the audio separately right here and make sure that it's never really clipping. Whenever I talk you can see this little green light pop up so I know it's being registered. 
This light also turns red whenever I'm too close to the microphone or whenever my gain is up too high, so I know I'm always recording clean audio. Now the machine that is actually powering this all is this one right here. To give you an indication of the hardware that I use, this is an i7-5820K, this is a 6-core 12-thread processor, and the graphics card that I use is a GTX 980Ti. The 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and whatnot, but if you're interested in all of the little specifics, check the blog post instead, because I'll post the list right there. And that's basically it when it comes to all of the hardware that I use to produce the videos. But you guys are mostly nerds if you made it to this point in the video, so let's talk about our tech as well. First off, the tablet of choice that I use every single day is my Nexus 9 right here. Very nice little tablet, it's great for everything that I use it for. I mostly use it though for like productivity and whatnot, but it's really, really, really nice. The one product that I will upgrade very shortly, hopefully, is gonna be the HTC One M7. I've been thinking about either upgrading to a OnePlus 2, however getting an invite is very very difficult, or to go for the Moto X style that is coming out next month. The laptop of choice that I use is this Chromebook, I've had it for a very long time, it's great, it has a little touchscreen and it just works very well for everything university related. Last but not least, this is the Moto 360. It is a smartwatch and it's really really fun to be playing around with and I pretty much use this every single day. I know some of you will think this is absolutely pointless, but I love it. And that is pretty much it for everything that I use. Once again, if you're watching this video within a week of it coming out, check the link down below to win a free keyboard. And other than that, if you have any more questions, also make sure to post them down below and I will keep an eye out on the comment section to answer pretty much every single one of them. Other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day, do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one.